So I'm going to show you now how to put it on an image. Maybe you want an adventure background or you want to put it on a nice backdrop. Um, you can do that. So what I'm going to usually do, I'm just going to leave the background for now. I'm just going to make sure it's like that. So what I want to show you now is how to put this adventure logo onto a nice background. So sometimes you want to backdrop or you want to make it you know, look adventurous or cool or you want to put on Instagram. You can do it this way to have it have a nice effect. So what I want to do is I'm going to select all these shapes. We're going to select our typography. Go to object and go to compound path and make. This will allow us to create one path and make it one shape. And what we're going to do now is we're going to select this, select the background shape, go to our pathfinder. So window pathfinder, if you don't know how to open that. And the second shape mode is minus front. This will minus the shapes on this shape. So it's going to minus our typography on this shape now, which is pretty sweet. And then because we've done that, we want to make sure that we can see the other parts of it. So just I'm going to drag it down to the layer and then bring it to the back there. So we can still see this bit. So I'm actually going to minus these parts off using the shape builder tool. Just like that. And we can actually minus this off as well. So we can have the balloon like that if we want. I'm just going to go ahead and delete these parts. I'm going to make this one shape. So we're going to make all that the same color so it all connects together. And then for our guy here, I don't know what happened to his shirt. It disappeared. So I'm just going to copy this over here. Just like that. And then we can probably, actually, I might delete this guy. Because if we just want the logo to be we just want the logo to be flat and simple. And I might make that smaller. So cool, we've got our main shape there. So if I just group all that and change to white, we want to make sure that the, all these, any strokes is actually expanded. So we go to object and we go to expand, go OK. And sometimes you can just select it all and go object, expand appearance or expand. So it should expand everything. So once we have all that, you can group it. A better way to do it is actually go to your Pathfinder and click Unite. So once you press that, you can see it's just united all the shapes together as one big shape. I'm going to copy it over my picture here and I'm going to bring it up because the picture is on the top layer. So I'll just drag it in the, below the, that layer. And then there we have it. So we've got our white there. We can change it to a black, blue if you want. Um, I'll get another picture. Get a bit more contrast. And there we have our logo, adventure logo, just like that. 